let go The signs are fake and the maps are false But we must go sublime take on our wonderful project called Humanity Beautiful. Plenty more to come into Soul Show, a show packed with stories and music to remind ourselves of where we are and how far we've come. Our first caller for the show calls it like it is and was a hard-hitting look back at the last days on earth from the perspective of a shrewd businessman and loving father. Stories, memories, the good old days, original sources, authentic tales, hope, inspiration, drama, with Stoker from Mars. I worked in oil, brokering gasoline to be exact. It's a strange business, uh, probably not like you would actually imagine it to be. My day started something like this. I check Reuters and my sheets. See if there's been a change in the fundamentals. See if the spread's up or down. And then when the clock strikes go, I'm on the phone. I could be calling some commercial shop in Bumble, Kansas, where little old Sue loves to know how my daughter's doing. Or I could be trying to get into the head of a powerful Russian who knows the world wants his phone number. 
That's when the psychology kicks in, and I go to work. If they pick up the phone, they're mine. That's the game. I started when I was uh, 29, 30. <laughs> my boss. My boss was a coked up, permatanned moron who was wasted by lunch. More money than sense. Screaming at waiters, because uh, I don't know. You don't drink gin out of a glass like that. And Caesar salad is supposed to have eight pieces. Eight pieces of chicken, you stunted fool. Stunted fool was his favorite insult. This coming from a guy who was five foot and nothing. That was pretty much my life. 24-7. I traveled a lot. Meeting clients all over the world. The Amazon, the Gulf, Siberia, Central Asia, the States, Singapore, everywhere. Looking back, I can't claim that I ever would recommend that life, nor can I claim that I was ever really happy doing it. But it was fun. I mean, talk about your share of moments. There was this one girl. Some strange mix of Algiers and Paris. With some sprinkle of Havana. A dancer, naturally. So pretty. She'd turn a priest's head or give a nod a Sometimes I wonder what happened to her. But we all had the same feeling. This can't last. And sure enough, we were right. First, you couldn't drink the water. Then you couldn't eat the crops. And pretty soon, we wouldn't be able to breathe the air. I remember looking at Emmy and wondering what kind of a future would she have. So I decided to do something about it. The Mars project was plan B for planet Earth, which was most evidently The family and I had already put down roots in Tesla City by the time the great catastrophe really hit. The corporation knew my contacts in the world of drilling and refining would be useful. So I adapted my skills to something more practical. Now we are all that keeps this little planet running. Mining those Martian chemicals for the battery banks. Martian cement for the buildings. My pure little Emma has a future. When somebody sits down and writes this all up for the history books, it might just be men like me they'll be hailing as heroes. Men like me who saved humanity. Men like me who took us further than we ever dreamt possible. Radio nostalgia from Mars. Oh, some pretty heavy stuff. Reminds us that all kinds made it up here to Mars, but we're all in it together now. And remain creatures of the world. You're a tight beam to Radio Nostalgia from Mars. Music for the lost days of Earth.
Us back. Stefan Milenkovic pining for blue skies, plus musing on the games we play. Just a reminder that until further notice, there is a moratorium on all team leaders playing card and board games with their teams, following an incident over a game of Monopoly in Section C. All senior Section team leaders will convene for emergency counseling and anger management courses. Until then, there will be no intersectional board game tournaments and no games with groups larger than four people at a time per team. In the interim, teams are encouraged to take advantage of the half ration special on Omas, the delicious relaxing drink that takes the edge off of everything. Our next caller, Yamil, takes us into her world of food, smells, sensuality, blue skies and sings us a personal song to remember. Histoire, mémoire, le bon vieux temps, source originale, fable authentique, espoir, inspiration, drame, musique, radio nostalgie de Mars. I have nightmares. I'm happy to be alive, but I knew many who deserved to live more than I did. But this is a radio program about nostalgia, not guilt. I've been nostalgic since I was 20, when I left Havana. In Europe, I felt different. Each country has a smell. Mars doesn't. Where I come from, the smell of the ocean, mango, bananas, coconut, mama's food, ropa vieja de la abuelita, el con gris, la yuca con mojito, the most beautiful San Malecón, the smell of my street when the rain falls, all of that make me into the person I am. So when I left, I grew stronger. I experienced the world, but forever stayed incomplete. So now I'm double nostalgic. We were full of life, laughing on warm nights under blue sky, touching each other. The air filled with the smell of sweat from dancing with a orchestra Aragon playing from an apartment. Now, the only way I can feel this scent is by singing. Como fue? No sé decirte cómo fue. No sé explicarme qué pasó. Pero de ti me enamoré. Fue una luz que iluminó todo mi ser. Tu risa como manantial llenó mi vida de inquietud. Fueron tus ojos o tu boca, fueron tus manos o tu voz. Fue a lo mejor la impaciencia de tanto esperar. Llegada, más no sé, no sé decirte 
cómo fue No sé explicarme qué pasó Pero de ti me enamoré Слушайте радио Nostalgia за Марс. Thank you, Yam Yil. What a wonderful story. It reminds us that life is about so much more than just base survival. Well, living in space has always been challenging. And here's a song that pokes a little fun at living in cramped quarters. It needs no introduction. All you all you want. It's a classic. Take a moment, relax, and remember with Radio Nostalgia from Mars. A Russian and an American work together in space. A very different sight from the Cold War arms race. Where the Kubrick or Tarkovsky, Solaris or 2001, Melville or Dostoyevsky, you sing in the old Japan. Two astronauts argued about art, values, and international relations. Two astronauts argued. America will be the Iraqs, will be the Czech, and will be the Iranians. And will be the Koreans and the Vietnams. To you. Don't get me started on Stalin and your talent to suffer under Tsars, my friend. Your history is long. You also inflicted scars. Two astronauts argued about art, values, and international relations. Two astronauts argued. They speak in two tongues. But still, for hours they talk The same oxygen in their lungs The same thrill on their space walk International relations to astronauts. 
muzika i starih dobrih dana. Radio Nostalgija sa Maso. Ana Chochende and arguably the first interplanetary hit, Two Astronauts, an anthem to the great evacuation, and certainly one of our most popular requests. Speaking of requests, please follow Habitat protocols for sanitation. No liquids other than bodily in the main bin, including pee. Some of you don't like it, but all water is recycled, so pee into the funnel installed next to your toilet, please. Speaking of pee and poop, We recently welcomed our first official little Martian to the colony and our next caller, Sophia, tells us what it's like to be a new mother on Mars. I'm so happy we moved to Mars. It was a project I funded from the very beginning. I knew it had potential and I trusted the amazing team working on it. As angel investors, my husband and I got early placements in the ARC ship. I'm so grateful for the opportunity to further human survival in our solar system. Speaking of the human project, I have some exciting news. Just a week ago, we welcomed our baby boy into the world. Words cannot express how overjoyed we are at welcoming little Maxim. Putting him to bed reminds me of my parents. From our window here in Tesla City, you can see the Earth, tiny enough to fit in Maxim's hand. It pains me that my child might never experience the beauty of my home in the Hamptons. The nature, coastline, the old lighthouse, and the food, the houses of our friends, our evening parties, full of life compared to this barren, rugged terrain. I send my little Martian to sleep with a lullaby my mother sang for me. Thanks to these songs, I'm able to retain, at least on a rudimentary level, my mother tongue. She sang like this. Shushti, shushti, tamu solis, polenta prozora, nocetri, kushtana gra, za nebeski svodova. No se ti ospušta na gran sa nebeski svodova. We can push challenges so much. Thank you, Sofia, for that uplifting news and beautiful song. Life always finds a way. Just as precious as a new life is the water that sustains it. You may have noticed that it doesn't rain here on Mars, so another friendly reminder that showers are strictly limited to 30 seconds each, with no exceptions. Corporate is looking into extending this time frame, but is meeting resistance from Section BC who want lab rat urine to be excluded from the water recycling program, which would actually reduce allocated shower times to 27 seconds. Want to say in this? Join our sectional weekly meetings and vote while sipping on a relaxing tube of OMAS. Feels good as it should. Radio nostalgia from Mars.
passes quickly. As quickly indeed another blast from the past reminding us to savor each moment as it flies by speaking of savoring things the health and well-being department would like us to remind you that the popping and fizzing noise your dried food makes when you're adding water is perfectly normal and does not mean it has gone off or is contaminated The health and well-being department would also like to take this moment to remind you to take your bone density pills twice a week now, as it was discovered the original dose is off by a factor of two. Right, on with the show. Music and dancing have always been a mainstay of stress relief and letting go. Our next caller Merva recalls her teenage clubbing days with vivid memories of awkward first kisses and a life-altering club experience invoking a philosophical epiphany. Stories, memories, the good old days, original sources, authentic tale, hope, inspiration, drama, radiant nostalgia from Mars. So, when I was a kid in Vienna, in high school, we used to learn all the German poets, like Best Friends, Goethe and Schiller, but the first poet that actually spoke to me was Heinrich Heine. I knew a couple of Heine's poems by heart that are now buried somewhere deep in my mind. But one passage about burning books stuck with me. Yes, even till today. So just to fast forward to college, just a couple of years before the great catastrophe, I was walking around Berlin with a group of friends coming from a house party. Pfui, I, yeah, I still remember that apartment smelling of potatoes. Yes, because we always made pommes and drank schnapps before heading out. Yeah. And after that, I remember passing by Alexanderplatz on that very, very hot night. And next to me was a guy I like. We kissed before, but I can't say I really remember that. Probably from all the drinking, or maybe he was just a bad kisser. But I can still feel this sticky, sweaty, and very ambivalent feeling of us holding hands. Yeah, anyways, we popped some pills and entered our techno church that, well, now, when I think back, I visited more often than my college. <laughs> and I remember the beat in my chest and all these young bodies moving in this industrial space. 
used to love dancing and counting beats in techno songs, but one song was very strange. It just went repetition, 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 and then this female vocal would creep out of nowhere. And then suddenly I felt very dizzy, so I sat on the ground and held my knees closely to my chest. It was some sort of like, you know, like protective instinct. I was like an animal. And I felt cold sweat dripping down my neck. Ugh. And I'm sure my guy thought I was completely crazy. And then out of nowhere, the Heine lines clearly came to me. I sat there motionless, surrounded by the ugly, hypnotic, ugh, delirious atmosphere. And no effort to recall Heine's lines. They were just there, planted in my head. Wilde, düstere Zeiten drohen heran und der Prophet, der eine neue Apokalypse schreiben wollte, musste ganz neue Bestien erfinden. Und zwar so erschreckliche, dass die älteren Johannischen Tiere sind.